Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Top 5 Thursday. Today's topic is going to be eyeshadow So my palette. top 5 eyeshadow palettes. I do want to mention I couldn't put them in order like 1 through 5 which is my favorite because I just love them all equally and yeah. Also, about every single palette has a burnt orange or like any type of orange and cranberry burgundy shade so I mean you're gonna see a pattern and obviously you're going to see I also want to let you guys know that if I have a review swatches or a tutorial on my channel for any of these palettes I will link them all down below so you guys can check them out I know I don't have a review for some of them but I have a tutorial so I will link all that down below in the description box so, so you guys let's can get check started i'm going to go by numbers obviously but it's in no specific order of favoritism or anything like that let's start off with number one and this palette is probably the oldest palette that i have from all five of them and it's a morphe brushes palette. palette a while ago because i just love the colors this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe collaboration they did which is her favorites palette Jaclyn favorites palette and this is what it looks like obviously these colors and these up here caught my attention I really love this palette and it's just so gorgeous it has a lot of the burgundy uh, orange tones and then really pretty shimmery colors so this is definitely an amazing palette i I'll am obsessed this with this palette right here and this really pretty one look at how gorgeous those colors are. number two i have talked about this palette so so much i just love this palette this is a violet voss pro eyeshadow palette this is their holy grail palette which looks like this mine i mean you can totally tell it's so beat up because i have used it so so much this is what the palette looks like so so pretty i am just obsessed with this palette it's so gorgeous the colors i mean obviously you can tell a pattern and like mainly these colors right here are what caught my attention and i just had to get this palette so i will leave the link for this down below i know they just mentioned like on instagram that they're trying really hard to get these back in stock so this will be back in stock and i will leave the link down below you can follow them on instagram and see when they bring this palette back number three i can't like I just can't not talk about Kat Von D products. I love Kat Von D as a brand, like their makeup, their foundation. You guys know it's my holy grail foundation. I just love a lot of her products. And when I saw this palette, like it called my name. So this is a shade and light eye palette. And this is what it looks like. You can tell neutrals, cranberry, burgundy colors. Definitely had to pick it up. I love that it has these three huge matte shades up here well it's all matte but these like uh brow bone brow bone highlight shades up here because a lot of the palettes other palettes they have like a little uh highlight shade matte highlight shade and this one has like a ginormous one and then these three this one this one and this one work perfectly on my skin to apply on my brow bone so i love this palette i love how sleek it is and that the embossed words are gold gold and black you guys know i love those colors so this was a must and if you don't have this palette i definitely recommend it i will link it down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves number four this palette i do like it and i just love the two burgundy colors in it the only issue i have with this palette is that it's really crumbly i mean excessively crumbly the eyeshadows crumble apart like do you guys see how i hit pan on that i haven't literally hit pan from me using it i've hit pan from well, I haven't yeah, used it that many it. times to where I can say that I've hit pan on an eyeshadow. I mean, I have a, other eyeshadows that I've used, 
more than like 20 30 times and they barely have a dent and this I've probably used it I would say max about 10 times and it has already hit pan and that is because as soon as I dip my brush into the eyeshadow like it broke I didn't even like I didn't dig my eyeshadow brush into it I just patted it to apply it because I figured it was going to be pigmented and it like broke and crumbled off so every time I use it that happens which is a big big pain in the butt but the fact that the eyeshadow is so incredibly pigmented and such a pretty color like I can totally oversee that I don't even care about that and the colors are just gorgeous so I mean, this color is definitely, definitely one of my favorites, which is called Love Letter. And look at that. Do you guys see how pretty that color is? And then, what is it? Venetian Red. Like, I have to, like, barely, barely put my finger in there. There it is. It's so pretty. This orange called Real, Real Gar, Real Gar, however you pronounce it so so pretty so you can pretty much tell a pattern in the colors i like to wear obviously on my eyes today i have a lot of the burgundies and the orange tones and i did you do this look using the majority of these palettes i would say so yeah and last but not least number five which is my current obsession that i am like literally using non-stop huda beauty uh textured eyeshadow palette the rose gold edition i love this palette i am wearing the one of the textured shadows from the top row on my lid and this palette is just bomb dot com these are my favorite eyeshadows these two right here which is called rose gold and trust fund and those are the 3d metals they're so stunning i did mention in my uh, review and swatches which I will link down below that the easiest way and the best way to apply these is with your finger you get the best pigment and the best color payoff when you apply it that way when you apply it with the brush if your brush is dry it won't but pick up anything use your finger or a wet brush it will pick up the color so beautifully and deposit it on your eyes just like so stunningly so this palette is definitely definitely a must-have I am obsessed with this palette. I know it's a little on the pricier side so definitely uh, you know it would be up to you and your preference and the type of colors you like to use to know if this palette is worth you picking it up I honestly love it it's amazing and even the matte shades are super super creamy I love that it included kind of like let me swatch it kind of like a shimmery brow bone highlight and a matte it's more of a satin and a matte which I love that because I personally really like all applying these cream uh kind of like white eyeshadows all over my lid before I apply anything just to set like foundation or primer that I applied which you know these are really really good buttery smooth easy to blend that's about so, it for yeah. this top five Thursday I hope you guys enjoyed my top five eyeshadow palettes and again I will look for them wherever I can find them and link them all down below Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series on my channel. Again, you guys know I was inspired by Sarah Ray Vargas. I would just like to add that so no one comes at me. And yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, my Spanish channel and vlog channel. And if you have any requests for on these any top five Thursdays, please leave them in the comment down below. I was kind of like blanking out on what videos to do, honestly. And then I remember today's Wednesday, you got to do a top five Thursday for tomorrow. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.